Welcome back. If you've been following this channel for a while, or if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you already know that I'm in Australia when this video comes out. If you don't follow me on all my social media, you definitely should. Links are down below. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what I packed for my three and a half week trip to Australia. So, I packed for a three and a half week trip across three climate zones uh, on the other side of the world for work and for hiking and filming and everything inside this backpack. Now, I've always packed light, but in this case, I had to because we are traveling with budget airlines in Australia and they charge a huge amount for checked luggage uh, and they have a seven kilo limit for carry-on. So we are traveling carry-on only and I'm keeping my luggage under seven kilos and within carry-on limits. So I got this Fairview 40 backpack specifically for this trip. It's the women's version of the uh, Farpoint 40. Now the Farpoint 40 comes in regular colors like black and the Fairview 40 comes in ugly army green and this obnoxious teal color. And I would complain about the obnoxious teal color but obviously it matches my studio floor and my glasses so clearly I don't mind it so much. So in today's video I'll give you a peek inside what's inside my travel backpack and how I packed for three and a half weeks across several climate zones in under seven kilos. I'm now gonna move into the other room where the floor is a less obnoxious color just because um, this backpack blends into the floor in this room. So it's a little bit clearer if I film elsewhere. I'll see if you you're new to this channel, my name is Lee Angold. I'm a botanical and natural science illustrator and currently I'm in Brisbane, Australia at the GNSI conference. If you'd like to see more content about my life and travels, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So now I'm going to show you what I packed in my backpack that I'm taking to Australia. Hello! Hello! I don't think you're the luggage I'm looking for. Hey buddy! Alright, no, for real this time. Um, so. First let's talk about the things that don't go in the backpack that I'm just carrying with me on the plane. So first I always have my travel mug slash water bottle. This is just a jar with a lid and a sleeve on it. Um, if security has any issue with it, I will take the sleeve and the lid off and I can just give them the jar. Um, so it is a little heavy, it is glass. I don't expect it to be a problem. But if it is, the jar itself isn't worth very much. As far as my airplane outfit, I'm flying out of Toronto. It's expected to be drizzling all day tomorrow. And then I'm flying into Melbourne, which will be cold and wet. And overnight planes do tend to get pretty cold. So I will be wearing a pair of merino wool pants and a merino wool long sleeve shirt, a soft bra, underwear obviously, a merino wool cardigan, this is just an open cardigan, um, and this is the only sweater that I'm bringing. A windbreaker, it's water resistant and it packs really small if I do need to pack it. A silk blanket scarf. This thing is huge and it can dress up all sorts of other outfits, um, but it also works as a sort of blanket on the plane. Merino wool socks. I will have a hat because, again, it's going to be cold when we land in Melbourne. And my running shoes. Um, so these are what I'm going to wear for hiking um, and walking around town. And these are the heaviest shoes that 
I'm carrying with me. All right, and for real this time, this is my backpack. This is the only bag that I'm taking. We are traveling with budget airlines inside of Australia, and on Australian Airlines, the max weight is seven kilos, so that's the main restriction is unless we want to pay extra for luggage we are traveling carry-on only and maximum seven kilos now we can drop some things off in melbourne so some of our coldest weather clothing may end up staying in melbourne with some family friends and then we'll pick it up on our way home but pretty much all of my stuff needs to fit in seven kilos and so i've had to be a little bit choosy but that being said i don't find it really difficult to pack light at all. I had plenty of room for all sorts of art supplies, uh, clothing for three climate zones, video equipment, um, it really has not been a problem. So let's take a look at what's inside my backpack. So these straps undo. Um, at the very top here there's an easily accessible pocket. And I use that for my passport, which isn't in here right now, but will be, obviously. Chargers. In here I've got my basic toiletry kit. So this has toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, a face wash, and sunscreen, and a eucalyptus roller. This is what I use to keep myself presentable while traveling. And it's also what I present to security when they need to see my liquids and gels. And cable. My phone. This is a Samsung Note 9. It's also my wallet in the back here. This is entertainment and contact. I don't have a laptop. Um, so this is the only device that I'm bringing, uh, other than an action camera. Um, this will also be my primary camera while I'm traveling. I'm not bringing my big camera, which I'm filming on, just because it's really bulky and heavy and I don't want to carry it around. So then there are two more, so then there are two more pockets in this backpack. So the first one is here. And I don't carry very much in here. This is a fairly easily accessible pocket. This would usually be where your laptop goes, but I don't have a laptop, so this is where I keep my sketchbook. I am only bringing one sketchbook to Australia with me. It's this custom sketchbook by Two Critters on Etsy. It is made with 140 pound hot press watercolor paper, and it's beautiful. I love this thing and I'm looking forward to filling it. Got a mesh bag in here. This has my. In here, I have a little bag that says unicorn straws on it, and it has one unicorn smoothie straw in it. It also, this is also where I keep my pencils so that they don't poke me. Um, And then in here, in the main mesh, I have a few pens and my travel paint brushes. And that all just goes in here. And clump it all together and into this. And I also keep my watercolor travel palette in this pocket. There's nothing in this front pocket. And then in here I have my clothing and tech gear that I use less frequently. Um, so this is my neck pillow, uh, which I'm using on the flight. Over on this side, I have bottoms, an extra pair of linen pants, and a maxi skirt. Here I have the rest of my clothing. 
and I've basically got two to three of each thing. So I have two long sleeve shirts, one is merino wool and one is linen. I will also be wearing one on the plane. I have three t-shirts, two merino wool, one linen. Uh, two cotton, basic cotton tank tops, a pair of linen blend shorts, and sleep pants, and also two extra pairs of merino wool socks. Again, I will be wearing one on the plane. And in here, in this packing cube, I have all the rest of my mess, um, all sorts of different things. So I have my day pack is going to be this simple cotton canvas bag, uh, which I got at the GNSI conference last year. Inside I have a bunch of extra art supplies, um, but these are art supplies that I don't use very frequently. They're specifically for workshops that I'm taking. So I have colored pencils, and I have nicer paint brushes taped into a tin, and uh, erasers and sharpeners and pen nibs and stuff that I don't really use frequently in my regular art practice, but I are required supplies for a workshop I'm taking. This is, I'm not gonna dig too far into it, but it has two bras, two bathing suits, uh, and a bunch of underwear. Flip-flops. Uh, just for showers and beaches and stuff. Um, mascara. Shampoo and soap bar. Microphone attachment. Uh, a bunch of other attachments for my cameras. This is a bunch of tech stuff. This is an attachment to hold my camera on my little tripods and things, uh, chest harness, action camera with a little floaty handle, travel adapter, uh, leather sandals, and that's it. That's everything in the bag. Other than what's in the bag, I will be bringing some snacks onto the plane. Um, and also some valerian tea, some Advil, Tylenol, um, Benadryl, melatonin, gotta get some sleep, and that's it. That's everything I've got. that video and let me know down in the comments below do you prefer to pack light or carry everything you could possibly need uh, just let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video uh, and you'd like to stay posted for all the videos that I'm filming now while in Australia don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below bye bye